like I said before, I want to equally focus on the positive stories from YouTube as well. This story comes from Prestige is Key, who in my opinion is one of the most humble and down to earth YouTuber. By the way, I have added a really funny Pokemon Go Snapchat at the end, so I hope you stick around for that. Prestige is Key is over 1 million strong and mainly plays Call of Duty on his main channel. He uploaded a video today giving the tour of his new house. Trust me, it's one of the best you will see on the internet. Of course, link is in the description. In this vlog, he talks about how life has been so tough for him and just because of YouTube and the love that he gets from his fans, he is finally able to own a house of his own. When you watch this video, you will notice how genuine this guy is and he truly means every word when he's being thankful to his fans. If you are a Call of Duty or Battlefield fan, I highly recommend this channel. Well, there you have it. If you are passionate about what you do, good things will happen. I hope Honor the Call can learn a thing or two from this guy. Looks like Fuzi to Fuzi Fuji Fu Fu FooCTube is an all-out war with the rest of the content creators. Not only this, he has also been busy sending copyright strikes to smaller channels. In a Twitter post by user Donovan is not on fire, you can see Fuzi sending copyright strike notices to very small channels and then not backing from the claim. I personally think this is the clear violation of the fair use policy. Let me know what you have to say. More and more YouTubers are coming out against FooCTube. KSI tweeted out yesterday saying Fuzi is taking the L in this. As a friend, he's cool, but personally, I feel he's not making the right decisions at the moment. He also added, drama is not going anywhere. No one can change that. Also, Rob Dark from the Seriously Strange had the perfect answer to FuzzyTube's tweet where he compared himself with MLK, Gandhi, and the best rapper ever, Tupac Shakur. I don't recall MLK or Gandhi ever making fake social experiments. Their social actions were all real fake as M4. He also added, the fact some fake ass prank YouTuber would compare himself to people who died for actual social change makes my blood boil. And Rob just kept on going. The last thing YouTube needs right now is some fraud who profits off of controversy and fake violence speaking out against negativity. You can tell how fast FuzzyTube's arguments are losing ground when RiceGum tweeted out saying, This video talking about drama and trying to prevent drama is causing a lot of drama. LOL. The only person to come in defense of FuzzyTube was Alfie from Pointless Blog when he tweeted saying, Drama channels only spreading negativity. I'm so bored of their fake thumbnails and titles about other YouTubers. Make YouTube positive again. Why does everyone think they're Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie? Who else am I going to put on the thumbnail, man? Fucking goats and sheep? In a new discussion on the Baited podcast, Keemstar mentioned how prank channels always did original pranks until Fuzi arrived and started faking shit up. Now, I'm not a really prank channel follower. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. PewDiePie, yes, this guy posted a video titled The Scandal a few days ago where he talks about how his name is being dragged in the whole shadow of Mordor game controversy. YouTubers including him were accused of not disclosing the sponsorship to their viewers. He also goes on to show that he actually did disclose the sponsorship. Guess what? I also ran this story a few days ago where I pointed out the same thing. PewDiePie can do nothing wrong. There is a reason he's the most subscribed channel. Okay, I know you've been watching till this second for the Pokemon Go Snapchat video. Here you go. I want to go Pokemon hunting tonight, but do Pokemon be out this late or do they got like a curfew? Do they be sleepy and shit? I don't know. I tried to go Pokemon hunting tonight and the Pokemon was asleep. I threw a Pokemon at him and he was like, nigga, I got a job interview in the morning. The Pokemon looked at me, he said, why you trying to catch Pokemon? It's so late. And I said, cause it's Pokemon Go. And he said, nigga, Pokemon go to sleep too. And then everybody takes me, they say, Vic, you crying on Snapchat, is you okay? I'm not okay. I'm not. I want to catch them all. Not some of them. I want to catch them all. You know, the song, the song is, gotta catch them all. You know, the song ain't gotta catch some of them. That shit don't even sound right. It don't even <laughs> and I know y'all gonna judge me because I'm a grown man and I'm on Snapchat and I'm crying about Pokemon. Okay. Me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Remember, always honor the call.